In this step, let's mock the list interface and learn more about Mockito. Let's get started. I'm going to create a new test case. So new JNIT test case. I'll call this list test. I'm just trying to use the list interface and I would write tests around it. You know the list interface, right? So list interface is one of the interfaces which is present in Java, which is not awt.list. I would want to use util.list. What I want to be able to do is to mock a few things in the list class. So I'll do a mock list.class. I would add a static import. So we have created a simple mock for the list class. I would want to make the list.size method return a specific value. How do I do that? So list.size, I would want to make it return 10. How do I do that? The easiest way would be to say when list dot size at static import dot then return what we want to return. That's a simple example. We already saw this in the previous steps as well. So I'll do assert equals. So what I'm doing now is I would want to call the list dot size and check whether it's actually returning command one at static import, please. Okay, cool. So now what we are doing here is we are saying if this method is called return 10 and here we are calling the method and checking whether it's returning fine or not. So test run as JUnit test. Cool. This is working fine. This is very simple. There's nothing new that we are trying in here. So what we want to start doing newly in this specific step is multiple returns. So what we want to start with is multiple returns. So when the method is called first time, I would want to return 10. However, when it's called second time, I'll, I'd want to return 20. So let's check that it's working fine. So 20. So let's see if that works fine. So the first time the method is called, it should return 10. The next time it should return 20. The text succeeds. So the way you do that is keep adding then returns. So you would want first time 10, second time 20, and third time 30. You can go ahead and do that as well. Here, if you look at it in this specific test, as many times as you would want to call it, you would keep returning 10. So if I call it right click run as JUnit test, you'd see that even the second time it would return a value of 10. By default, if you just have one then return, how many other times you would call it, it would return the same value. However, if you have multiple then returns, then it would return different values. So the first time it's returning 10, second time it's returning 20. The third time you would call it, you would see that it returns the last value. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Sometimes methods have parameters. Actually, most methods have parameters. So how do we actually test mock methods with parameters? So let's get started with uh, test. Let's try and mock the get method. So let's say I would want to test the get method. So I would want to say when list mock dot get is called with an index of zero, then I would want to return some string back, some string back. What would happen? So when it's called with zero, then it would return this string back. However, when it's called with anything else, it would return something else back. Let's say I'm saying get of zero. So what would be written back? Some string. However, if you call it with any other thing, so if you call get of one, for example, then it would actually return back. Let's run this test and check if it's working fine. There you go. So you can see that with specific parameter, it would return the value only for this specific parameter. For all other parameters, it would return null. If you would want get always to return some specific string. So always I would want to return a specific string. Then in that case, you can use any int. So this is an int. So I would, I'm using mockito dot any int as a parameter to this. So what would happen if it's called with any integer, then this would return string. So if you would see that even with one, I run this test right now, the test succeeds. So what we are doing here is whenever this method is called with any parameter, then you would actually be able to use this on string. Actually, if you look at mockito dot any methods, there are any methods for almost all kinds of parameters. So whatever time, kind of parameters you have, you can use any to make it a generic thing. One of the important things as far as Mockito is concerned is if one of the parameter is generic, then all the other parameters should also be generic. You cannot have one generic parameter and one specific parameter. So here we are using a specific parameter zero. 
here we are using a generic parameter you cannot use a combination of a generic and a specific if there are two arguments either both of them have to be generic or both of them have to be specific in this step we looked at some of the variations on mocking so we looked at how you can make the methods to return multiple values and also we looked at how we can use parameters to distinguish between the return values the last thing which we looked at was using generic parameter mockito.any the idea behind these set of videos is not to really make you an expert on mockito mocking is a skill you'd gain with time so as you mock more and more things and as you encounter more and more scenarios you'd become good at unit testing and mocking as well the idea behind this set of videos was to give you some exposure to mocking give you good ways of how to use mockito introduce you to mocking and why you need it until the next step bye bye